Let's talk about deep fakes now, man. That's what we're going to talk about, deep fakes. And many of you guys don't know what deep fakes are. Uh, and I, I, I'm here to kind of share it with you what I know about deep fakes, man. So think about deep fakes is, is this. It's, it's AI. It's driven by AI. It's artificial intelligence. And basically what it is is it's simulations that um, uh, people are, have the ability to put together and to create what looks like uh, uh, people. Right. So think about it being somebody can literally watch my YouTube channel and make an impression of me, an avatar of me, where it can re go through all of my videos and understand how I talk, the vernacular I use and so forth. It, it trains it. It can, you know, the, 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 the deep is for the deep learning, the machine learning. And it's able to take all this information, get a good profile of me, then use my face and to basically uh, uh, mimic me in some aspects of it to look like me and sound like me and to be me. Right. That's very scary. That's very, very scary. And the fake part comes in that when you're using it for malicious intent. Right. So somebody can watch my YouTube channel and you know, create a deep fake of Antoine Wade saying stuff that I would never, ever say. That's crazy. And that's where we are right now into this AI space. I think that's the piece of it where I'm the most concerned with is the deep fakes, uh, the deep fake aspect of it. AI is fantastic in, in the ability to be productive and so forth. But when you're getting into the wrong hands of people who are using it to create um, a malicious uh, wording and to, you know, hurt people and destroy people, that's where the concern comes at. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of power into AI, but there's also going to be a lot of the cons and, you know, a lot of pros in the AI and a lot of the cons in the AI as well. And this deep fakes is going to be, is, is what I'm most concerned with, right? Now, I'll share with you this YouTube video of deep fakes that uh, uh, I came across that's going to give you guys a little bit more understanding of the creepiness behind it here i'll share it with you right now from your favorite twitch streamers turning into adult entertainment joe rogan selling scam products to deep fakes with the potential of causing the next huge global conflict these are the seven let me know if you guys can hear you guys can hear it let me know Putin's illegal occupation of Kyiv and the impending Chinese blockade of Taiwan has created a two-front national security crisis that requires more troops than the volunteer military can supply. You see, what you just watched is one of the most dangerous defects the internet has ever seen. A defect that went viral on Twitter recently, gaining over 8 million views. Something like this has the very real potential of starting real conflicts in the future. With defects becoming more and more realistic, almost to a point where they're indistinguishable from reality, how could a world leader or population know what is real and what isn't? Even when the disclaimer... That's a concern, guys, right? I'll, I'll pause it there. Just imagine, you know, this getting into the wrong person's hands and they're able to, again, simulate Joe Biden basically saying that we're invading Taiwan, right? And that spreads, right? Because the first thing somebody's going to do is they're not going to do the research behind it. People are going to take it and they're going to put it on Twitter. And next, you know, it's going to get shared millions and millions of times. And in the wrong person's hands, this is called. This can cause a lot of catastrophe, man. This can cause a lot of catastrophe. Not only that, it can cause somebody who who is innocent, right, to go down. Right, you already hear about people getting accused of things that they haven't done in the real world, from being in a relationship with people and all this other stuff. People who want to take down other individuals but with deep fakes and all this other stuff. You can you can do a lot. And what you're seeing right now is there was I, I came across an article about a Twitch streamer who was on a deep fake site. And uh, uh, apparently he was uploading some of the Twitch streamers images onto this deep fake, uh, this deep fake site. And it was basically of uh, pornographic images and basically swapping the person who was the real person in the video to the people who was actually. Uh, on the live stream and it basically ruined this lady's life right because he was you know basically putting or had some obsessiveness about twitch streamers that he watched and content creators and he's basically uploading their content into this deep fake site and it was replacing 
the real artist who was actually doing the, the, the adult imagery or the adult video with this new person, right? Or with this person that's just a Twitch streamer. And that stuff can like that can leak. I mean, just imagine you are a content creator and all of a sudden, you know, a video is shared with your parents of you doing something crazy, right? You doing the knockout game or something like that on somebody or, or, or you doing some adult uh, uh, films that you never, ever did or never, ever wouldn't consider to do or you saying stuff that you never, ever uh, 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 done or had done. This was also done in, in Pennsylvania this year. Some high school students got access to deep fake technology and basically put their principal, right? One of their principals, uh, 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 face onto, um, or, or uploaded into a, a deep fake site and basically had a, had him saying all kinds of vile stuff about, you know, black people, Italian people, Jewish people, and so forth. And it got out, it got out to parents. Right. And, you know, there was an investigation that was done. And they found out that it was a deep fake, but what that can cause, right? That can cause a lot of damage to people. And that's a scary piece about it that, um, you know, I, I say about the AI and this whole new era that we're in with this artificial intelligence, how it can cause a lot of catastrophe and a lot of bad things to happen when you, you put it in the wrong hands of people. And when you're talking about high schoolers who are able to do that, you already see now that, you know, high schoolers and college, people in college and the younger generation, they grew up in the age of technology where they don't have an opportunity to shut off unless they really get rid of their phones or they get rid of their computers and so forth. Where I grew up in an era where I didn't have cell phones in my hands all the time, right? I didn't have, you know, the ability to you know, jump on Facebook and see what people were saying about me. I grew up in an era when, you know, if you were bullied in school, when you went home from school, it wasn't going to happen unless that person came on your block and then you can beat them up and jump them with your boys or something like that. But uh, the whole point of what I'm saying is you get away from it for 16 hours of the day. You have a chance to detach yourself from it. Now, kids, they really don't have that ability to turn it off because you're at school eight hours, six hours a day. Then you have social media and then you have kids using technology that can put you into a situation to make it seem like you said something or did something. It was never, ever you. That's the piece of it that I'm worried about. That's the piece that I'm scared about. And not only that, I, you know, I'm thinking about raising, I have kids, right. And what they're going to have access to, what people can actually do to them with that sort of stuff. Right. So you know, as much as technology is there for the advantage and there's a lot of pros behind it, there's also a lot of cons behind it. And, you know, this deep fake stuff is what scares me the most, guys. And I want to hear from you guys. Does it scare you all? Right. Is it is it concerning for you? Is it concerning for you, for your kids? Right. Are, when you think about this as a parent or, you know, somebody who yeah, uh, uh, is going through life and trying to do good, um, are you concerned about this at all? Are you concerned about it? I am. I can tell you this right now as a parent, as a father, I'm definitely concerned about it. As a content creator, I'm definitely concerned about it as well, too, because, you know, people have malicious intent. Right. They can, you know, uh, 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 basically want to take people down and take people's images and take people's words and put that into a site and then retrain it to, to say something viral and get you fired or something like that, that. And, 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 and your company probably won't do the investigation or anything like that. And it can take you down, make you lose your livelihood. Right. So these are the kind of things that can be done and uh, can cause a lot of catastrophe and a lot of uh, negative uh, could have a negative impact for content creators, people in the world, political leaders and so forth. I mean, like this is something that can be used to cause a war in some aspects of it. Right. I mean, think about it in the wrong, uh, this technology in the wrong hands of people who are already, you know, uh, uh, violent. And, you know, you see the what's happening in the gangs of Milwaukee or Chicago or other Jacksonville or other St. Louis and so forth. And people using Twitter just to tweet about, you know, uh, all this drill music and stuff like that. Just imagine if they get their hands on putting images of people when they're dissing crews and stuff like that. And they never really did it. And next, you know, they have uh, a hit out on them or stuff like that. That's a piece of it. That's very, very scary for me guys. So I want to hear from you guys though, 
on what you guys think about that from a a, a technology perspective as well.